Welcome to Central Moments. We'll be uh, concluding our study out of uh, the letter of Paul to Titus today. I'm going to pick up tomorrow just one verse and go to a broader subject, but we're, we're, we're basically going to go through the last verses of Titus today, where, as is consistent with the whole letter, Paul reminds us that to be saved, to, to have met Jesus and live a saved life, is to also live a productive life in terms of how we're influencing the world around us and the way we influence the people around us. And Paul will give us some great examples of this here as he begins to wrap up this letter. In verse 12, he says, As soon as I send Artemis and Tychicus to you, do your best to come to me in Nicopolis because I've decided to winter there. So first of all, he's saying to Titus, I know I left you, as he said in chapter 1, I know I left you to strengthen the churches that we had planted together on the island of Crete. But um, before the winter arrives, first of all, Paul's at Mas in Mas northern Greece right now. He says, I'm going to go south where it's warmer for the winter, and I'm, I'm going to send Artemis and Tychicus to you, and they're going to spell you off. They're going to take over what you've been doing to strengthen those churches in Crete, and I need you to come and be with me uh, for the winter uh, in a place uh, where I will find it to be warmer than where I am right now. So it's all very human. It's all very real. It's, it's all very gracious. Paul really valued people. He really valued relationships in his life. And, and, and he had a heart for the churches. He wanted, you know, I need Titus, but I don't want that to hurt the churches there. So I'm going to send two guys to replace the one guy, Titus, so Titus can come be with me. And then he says, do everything you can to help Zenos the lawyer. Um, do everything you can. So if you're an attorney, uh, your profession is mentioned right here in Scripture, and thank God for you. Um, Zenos would probably be of great help to Paul if Paul was, would be arrested, in it. and he will soon be arrested again by the Romans. He's not in prison right now, but he will be arrested again, and Zenos would be a big help to him. And so he says, Titus, do everything you can uh, to help Zenos and Apollos, and that's an interesting one. Because Paulus was, was known as a great preacher. In fact, some people thought Paulus was a better preacher than Paul. And Paul could have been pretty comparative here. You know, we get so comp competitive with each other. But he says, he said, you know, help, do all you can to help Apollos too on his way. And see that he and Zenos, the preacher and the lawyer, they have everything that they need. And then he kind of, puts into words the ethic that he is living out, even with those examples. Our people must learn to devote themselves to doing what is good in order to provide for urgent needs and not live unproductive lives. The focus here, unlike, unlike earlier in the letter, is not good, words to, good works to protect the reputation of the gospel. That's what he's been saying constantly all through chapter 2 and first part of chapter 3. But here it's different. Here the focus is not on the reputation of the gospel, but on the fact that there's urgent needs everywhere in our lives. And he's, he's basically saying, why should believers in Christ be wasting their time? And why on earth would a follower of Jesus filled with the Holy Spirit be living an unproductive life? So he said, just remind the folks in church. He said, remind them that they must devote, that's a strong verb, devote themselves to doing what's good. Why? Uh, to protect the reputation of the gospel? Well, no, he's already said that several times. But because there's urgent needs everywhere. And plus, I mean, of all people on earth that live unproductive, productive lives, it should not be us. I mean, why would we be unproductive? Because we have the Spirit of God. We have the gospel of Jesus Christ. Our hearts have been transformed to love people, not hate people. So our world is filled with urgent needs, and God's called us to be productive in his works. It's time for good deeds, Paul is saying in our lives. Then he closes verse 15, everyone with me sends you greetings, and greet those who love us in the faith, and grace be with you all. And may that be the true in your lives too. Would you pray with me? Lord, we pray grace will be with us all. We pray we'll not live unproductive lives. God, it's easy to become really self-serving, especially if we have spare time and we, it's just too easy just to do nothing but spend it on ourselves. I pray, God, that we'll live those integrated lives where, where we get the rest we need, 
we get the refreshing we need, we get the spiritual feeding we need, but at the same time, we don't stop there. And we're aware of all the urgent needs around us. Help us to be productive. Help your love and power to work through us as we give ourselves to good works and to preaching the gospel. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.